there's a certain vocabulary necessary in order to appropriately discuss genetics. And so in this video, we'll go through a few of the basic terms that can help clarify that discussion. First, genetics relies on genes, and it's important to know what a gene is. A gene is a location on a chromosome that encodes for a particular protein or set of proteins that then relate to different traits. So for example, if you're dealing with a flower, you could have a petal color gene and you could have a stem length gene and things like that. They encode for different traits. And in humans, this number keeps shrinking. We used to think it was hundreds of thousands, if not more. And now it's down to 20 to 25,000 different genes in the human, chrome, in human genome. And that could be decreasing as we, as we continue to find out more. Now, a gene is a particular region of the chromosome that encodes for a trait. But genes can come in several different alleles. Everybody has the same genes, but we have different alleles for those genes. An allele is a version of that gene. So if we go back to the flower example, you could have the flower petal gene and have a red allele and a white allele. And these encode for different qualities of genes. Usually you'll find that the different alleles vary only slightly from each other. They're nearly identical, but they have some subtle variations that cause them to present differently in one way or another. So an allele is simply a version of a gene. When you're looking at a chromosome, you'll encounter this term locus, or the plural of which is loci. And a locus is the position of a gene on its chromosome. So if you have a large chromosome, a gene will be located in a particular locus. And you can think of the locus as the gene's address, where to find that gene when you're mapping out a chromosome. And I use the term mapping because gene mapping is something that is ongoing and it helps us locate exactly where on the chromosome a different gene will be found. And so the locus is essentially the location of that gene. And then there's a term known as homologous chromosomes. Remember that in the human body we have 46 chromosomes, but we have 23 pairs of chromosomes. Chromosomes occur in pairs, and the two chromosomes within a pair are homologous to each other. What that means is that they contain the same genes, but they may or may not contain different alleles of those genes. And so the chromosomes, they occur in pairs, and they will have the same genes at the same loci in their chromosomes. But there might be different alleles that they present with. And understanding alleles and their role in homologous chromosomes is very important for understanding inheritance patterns and heredity, genetic variation, and the different ways that a genotype can shape a phenotype. So realize genes and alleles are different. Allele is a version of a gene, but these alleles will be found at the same locus on their respective chromosomes because they're homologous chromosomes and so they both contain those alleles in the same locus positions.